Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful uh, pistons connecting rod assembly in Fusion 360. So this is again going to be a beginner's exercise. Hope you guys will enjoy the video and make sure you complete this exercise because in the next video, I will be making a four cylinder, uh, four stroke, four cylinder uh, engine using this same piston uh, and the same connecting rod so in the in that video we, we will be speaking uh, skipping this the making of this part we will be making this connecting rod uh, crankshaft and the assembly of the four cylinder four stroke engine so make sure you complete this exercise so we will start by making the connecting rod here then at the pin and in the last uh, we will be making the piston and there is not much in the assembly so uh, in the next part of the video that we will be covering the four cylinder assembly we will be making the complex part there so let's get started switch to new workspace we will start by making the connecting rod so on the front plane press l for line and from origin draw a line like this press d for dimension and give this dimension as 152.5 give this dimension as 152.5 mm like this press c for circle and draw a circle of dia 76.2 mm and offset it outwards up to a distance of 12.7 offset it outwards so we have a two circle here now press c again and draw a circle of dia 25 here and offset it up, up, up uh, towards the outside 12.7 mm like this beautiful now we will be making a circle a rectangle like this and go to constraint go to symmetry constraint select these two line and thus make it symmetry to the center line now we have a symmetry rectangle here and the distance between this point to this point just delete this the distance between this point and this point is going to be 38 mm like this now <coughs> press uh, uh, go to coincident and make this point coincident to this one like this now once done press l for line and draw and divide this circle into half press t for trim and trim these entities like this so we have a, a c shape structure here and finish the sketch now go to extrude select these this profile this profile uh, just leave the hole and the direction would be symmetric this is going to be our new component and measurement would be the whole length and the distance is going to be 25 and this is going to be new component and press ok now press shift n uh, to enable the colors now once done click on create a sketch and on this plane make a rectangle here press L for line and make a center line like this make this a rectangle symmetric to this line press D for dimension and give this dimension as 80 mm and from this point to this point make it 12 mm and finish the sketch now extrude cut it up to a distance of minus 5 like this now mirror go to mirror features mirror this extruded features to the the sim bottom plane so that we have a, a similar structure on the opposite side also now click on create a sketch and on this plane on this face draw a c for circle and on this center plane draw a circle of dia 19 and on here also you can mirror mirror that also but I think this is more quick quick way now select these profiles like this and extrude it the operation would be join up to a distance of 25 so this is going to be negative 25 make it 25 and press ok now again click on the repeat the same step press c for circle draw us dia of 19.5 and repeat the same for here 
9.5 a dia hole and finish the sketch and select these two and make an extrude cut here like this beautiful now once done uh, and the next part is to give the radius here so for that just go to fillet and select all these and make a fill radius of 2 mm like this okay 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 not 2 mm make it 1 just edit it and make it 1 mm yeah one seems fine okay now once done we have a one part of the connecting rod and we are going to make the second part so for second part also click on the plane and we will start by making a circle from the origin of course make a circle press d for dimension and give the dimension of this circle as 76.2 the similar of here and offset it okay and offset it outwards like we did earlier of 12.7 mm like this press l for line and divide it in half like this and go to solid go to extrude and extrude it symmetry whole length new component and the distance is again going to be like we did earlier 24 mm and press ok now repeat the same step that we have done here for the this one so just hide it and click on this and on this press c for circle and here draw a circle of 19 mm dia and repeat the same for here and finish the sketch and click on extrude so extrude it up to a distance of join and make this as minus 25 now again press c for circle and from here draw a circle of 9.5 dia finish the sketch and just make an extrude cut here now click on this face and draw a circle of 19 like this and on this also 19 like this and extrude cut extrude cut so we have a beautiful cut here like this now again go to fillet select all this and 1 mm radius on all the edges like this beautiful now we have a uh, both the part of the connecting rod here now again go to create a sketch and on the top plane start by making a circle we are going to be making the piston pin so make it a two circle like this press d and for the inner one this is going to be 12.7 and the outer one is going to be 25 once done you may finish the sketch and extrude it upwards as a new component up to a distance of 73 and go to modify go to chamfer and select this edge and the inner one and this and this and give a chamfer of 2.5 like this so we have a third part of the connecting pin here now the only thing left is to make the piston so for that just hide this for now on the front plane we will start by making the piston press l for line and draw a line uh, draw a figure like i am drawing here you can give the dimension later on so just make a box like this press d for dimension make this as 80 press d again and this thickness is going to be 19 mm this thickness is going to be 6.35 make it upwards like 
and press D again and this is going to be also 80 mm and this dimension is going to be 63.5 63.5 like this beautiful now create a point on top of this line press D for dimension and make this dimension as 4 now go to fit point spline select this point to this point select this point to this point and click OK now we have a control marking here so select this control marking and make it horizontal so that we have a beautiful tangency here and join this point to this line now again finish the sketch revolve it with the center plane of course and this is going to be our new component and press OK now again go to plane go to sketch and on the center plane draw center and slice the sketch by the sketch template here now once done draw a rectangle here just hide the component for now and give some dimension this is going to be the uh, this is going to be 2.5 and the height is going to be 4 mm and if I just bring back the body bring back the piston here and just go to sketch and switch on the last sketch that we have used the piston to make so from the center point to the outermost point this dimension is going to be 63.5 like this and from this point to this point this is going to be 7.5 like this beautiful now if I just hide the body this is how your sketch will look like on the plane basically we are going to cut the groove for piston rings so finish the sketch hide the sketch right now and bring back the piston go to revolve select and uh, the path is going to be this and extrude cut it now go to create go to pattern go to rectangular pattern and feature is going to be this revolve cut that we have created the direction is of course going to be downwards and distance type would be spacing a little bit and that too is downwards 3 and make the distance as minus 7.5 and press ok so we have a beautiful sketch here now again go to create and go to front plane like this and draw a center point rectangle from this point like this now just press shift and end. Uh, the color is confusing now what I'm going to do is press D for dimension and make this the size of this as 76.76 mm and from this point to this point make it as 38 now finish the sketch and extrude cut it symmetric like this press fillet and select on these four edges and give the radius of 25 here so this is how your piston will look like now again go to extrude uh, go to plane and select on this face now create a line from center point like this one horizontal and one vertical and draw a rectangle like this go to symmetry and make these two lines symmetric to this one press D for dimension make this dimension as 19 and from this point to this point make it as 17.5 and the height of the rectangle is going to be 50 now once done just mirror this to this line and press ok and finish the sketch and extrude both of these profile up to a distance of 64 mm like this press fillet select these two edges and give a radius of 10 mm again fillet select these edges 
and give a radius of 8 mm now once turn click on create a sketch and on this plane press C for circle and make a circle of dia 25 and press D for dimension and from this face to this face this is going to be 25.5 mm and finish the sketch and you can just cut a hole through it now again go to fillet select select this face and this face and give it a radius of 2 mm like this so we have completed our piston here now only thing left is to make the assembly so we have a one piston here and the rod and the, oh, the rest part is the here so what I'm going to do is first of all before making any assembly what I'm going to do is just click right click on the piston and ground at it so that it won't be able to move now it, you cannot move it now what I'm going to do is uh, first of all just press shift and end to differentiate the colors now go to joint select this profile and make it rigid point to this one now it is set to a, a rotating type so go to motion go to rigid now they are both fixed with each other and can be moved uh, without any issues now again go to uh, just hide this for now go to joint and the first is going to be the first component so press control and move your cursor on this point to select the center point of the uh, pin so pin now you cannot select the center point here because it is not connected so what i'm going to do is go to between two faces and select for first plane so first plane click on this one and the outer plane on this side like this and then press control so it will automatically uh, will drag the center point here it will automatically be moved towards the center point here just make sure to press the control by selecting the center point otherwise it will not be able to snap it the motion is going to be rigid also the shaking represent the motion is rigid and press ok now the last for the first thing bring back the connecting rod here again go to assemble and this time I am going to snap the center point of this one and snap the center point of this one like this and the motion is going to be revolute and press ok now we have a if I just go to right view you can see we have a rotating motion but still it's it uh, colliding with the uh, piston so what I'm going to do is this is at the zero degree right huh. so what I'm going to do is for go to joints and the last revolute joint select on edit joint limit and minimum and maximum so what I'm going to show you I will going to tell fusion 360 that don't allow this uh, uh, rotation beyond minus 30 to plus 30 degrees so if I just animate it you guys can see that it can be only be rotated by 30 degree minus or 30 degree plus so if I just now try to move it it will not be able to move beyond 30 degree angles so this is how the joint limit works so this completes our today's exercise on piston connecting rod assembly hope you guys will enjoy it video again once again i'm telling you don't forget to uh, skip this exercise at this is going to be uh, the next video will be the uh, sequel of this video we will be making the four cylinder assembly using this same piston and same connecting rod we will be only be modeling the connecting shaft there connecting uh, crankshaft there so hope you guys will enjoy. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.